Regardless, if you have a short or a lengthy document, you are going to want to know how to move around within that document. So let's open up Word and let's take a look at some flexibility options that you have. Do you see the cursor flashing in front of the Word introduction? Well, what I want to start with, arrow keys. If you use your arrow keys on your keyboard, you can go one character at a time. You see how it's just moving one character at a time? That's with my right arrow. Left arrow is just going to go left one character at a time. Up and down arrows are going to take you one line. Let me go to the beginning of the line. It'll be easier to see. So up arrow, one line at a time. There I am on introduction. Now I'm on the first text line, the second text line. Now I'm on the next title, starting with templates. But I want to go a bit faster than one character at a time. So on the line, starting with templates, watch what happens when I add the control key. So I'm holding control using my right arrow and it's skipping one word at a time. Take note of that. Now I'm using left, one word at a time. The up arrow is going to go one paragraph at a time. Down arrow, also one paragraph at a time. So your arrow keys are really handy, very, very handy for moving short distances or long distances. Now below starting with templates, you have a graphic. And what happens using your arrows, it's going to skip right past the graphic. So now my cursor is flashing to the left of what it is because it does not activate. Arrows do not activate graphics. So those are using your arrow keys. Let's go back to starting with templates so it's easy to find that cursor. Home and end. Home and end. Right now I'm at the beginning of a line. So if I hit the end key on my keyboard, it takes me to the end of that particular line. Now I'm at the end of starting with templates. Home is going to take me back to the beginning. So the home and end key take you to the left or to the right of an entire line. But let's add the control key. Now if you've not ever used the control key before, it's on your keyboard the same row as your space bar, either all the way to the left or all the way to the right of that space bar, and it says CTRL. So holding down my control key and hitting the home key takes me all the way to the beginning of my document. Holding down control and hitting the end key, E-N-D, end key, takes me all the way to the end of the document. Now let's take note of something while we're at the end of this document. The document says page nine of nine. But over here in the status bar, the status bar says page 10 of 10. So let's figure out what's going on there. Remember, control home is going to take me all the way to the beginning. Now let's skip over, move over on the screen to the scroll bar. And over here on the scroll bar, you have a little button, oftentimes called the scroll bar button or the scroll button or the elevator button. A lot of times people refer to it as an elevator because if you click and hold, it just moves you up and down in the document. And as far as you drag, as quickly as you drag is as fast as you scroll. Notice the nice little navigational tip that pops up. It tells me what page I'm on. Let's go back to the top and note it says page zero. There's no page numbering at the top of this page and let me scroll slowly and there's no page numbering at the bottom of this page. But when I go into the next page, now it says I'm on page one. So what's happening is your status bar down here in the bottom left hand corner is telling you in the entire document how many pages your page numbering system is going to be however the person who created the document sets up the page numbering. Okay, let's go back to the scroll bar. You know that you can drag the elevator button here up and down. You can also use the little arrows, but for every click, it's kind of slow. It takes you one line at a time. Of course, up arrow takes you one line up. Down arrow moves you one line down. So you can utilize that or you can do an entire page at a time by clicking inside of the scroll bar but not on the elevator button and that's going to move you one page at a time. If you're below the elevator button, of course you scroll down. If you're above the elevator button, you're going to scroll up one page. Whoops, excuse me, there we go. One page at a time. So your scroll bar does work nicely for scrolling through the document. Sometimes though, you're a mouse person. And so what we can also do is bring our mouse over into the document. Just make sure you're clicked into the document that it's activated. And then the wheel between your left and your right mouse button, if you pull it towards you, you'll scroll down. If you push it away from you, you will scroll up. And again, how quickly you move that button depends on how far you scroll. It's all personal preference. But if you hold the button, can you find the mouse here? I'm just wiggling it so you can find it. If you click that the wheel and you hold it, what's going to happen is you get that shape with the up and down arrow and then pull the mouse towards you just a slight little bit and you will have what's called scroll mode. So now you're in scroll mode. It's automatically scrolling. I'm not doing anything once I told it how fast I want it to go. The further you pull the mouse away after 
After you click the button, depends on how fast you scroll. And if you pull towards you, you scroll down. See how it's slowing down as I move up? And now I'm going to scroll up. And you can see the shape of the original where I was and where my mouse is now. And the further I go away from that original shape, the faster I'm going to scroll. And when you let go, it stops scrolling. So you can also use the wheel of your mouse. So now you know. You can use the keyboard if you would like to. You can use the mouse if you would like to. Or you can use the scroll bar if you would like to. And that gives you a lot of flexibility. Sometimes though, you only want to go one full page and only one full page. And you want specific and complete control. So let me click in front of the word introduction. So I've selected that. And on your keyboard, you have a page up and a page down button. Clicking the page down button takes me one full page down. Now look where I am at the bottom of the page. I'm on Finding Tools. And I'm going to click Page Down. And it says, OK, Finding Tools. Now again, take note of where I am. Page Down. You'll be ensured that you are only scrolling one full page. Now, page, as far as this indicates, is actually a screen. You're scrolling one full screen at a time. But it's the visual page that you have in front of you. So you're scrolling a screen at a time so you don't miss anything in your document. And then page up, same thing. Page up is going to take you one screen at a time as you move up. So now you have multiple features. You can use the scroll bar if you'd like to, your page up, your page down, your arrow. You can use your wheels. You can use whatever you would like to in order to move through your document. And again, it doesn't matter if it's long or short. You now have the flexibility to get where you want to go inside of your Word 2013 document.